presenter. This conference will now be recorded. Rick, can you make her a presenter? Judy? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Okay. Did he do it? He, was, he made you presenter. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, let me go ahead and... Can you see my screen? Yeah, we can see your screen. Excellent. Great. So hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Judy Chandler. I work at Inspire. Um, and we are a online community provider. We build online communities for different conditions. And we partner with nonprofit organizations like the Male Breast Cancer Coalition. Um, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about you know, how we differ from other platforms and um, answer any questions you have about the community. So um, we created this community several months ago and it is a um, anonymous community. You don't have to use your name. Uh, you can, you know, join the community and um, we don't even want to know who you are. Um, and post and talk to other individuals. Um, we have these filters on the left, which allow you to post under various topics as the community grows and gets large. It's really helpful to be able to kind of connect with the posts that are most interesting to you. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on a, on a post in here. Um, and it is usually not slow like this, but there it is. <laughs> um, so here's a post. Um, somebody was diagnosed yesterday. Um, someone else is, you know, responding to them. Uh, these are what the posts look like. And um, you can add friends. You can message people. If you don't like a post or you think there's a concern about it, you can click on problem and report it to us and we will investigate it immediately. We have staff 24 seven here um, for both um, to make sure that communities are safe as well as to provide you with technical support. So if you're having any problems with the site, we will walk you through it. We'll get on the phone with you. I'm, I say we, I, I don't actually provide it, but <laughs> we have a team of, of seven individuals that do that around the clock. You can also block someone if you just don't care for you know, what they're posting about, but they're not breaking the rules. Um, and then I was going to show you if you want to start a post, you just click on start post. And uh, you go ahead and, and write whatever it is that you want to write. Um, it is still loading. I think the go to me is slowing me down a little bit. Um, and you select, you know, one of those topics so that um, people can find your post. And then you can, um, it, the default is public, but you can change it so that only members of Inspire, um, particularly the members of your community, will see the post. Or if you're super popular, <laughs> you can just post your friends. Um, but, you know, if it's sensitive information, you can go ahead and change that. Um, and uh, I don't have the ability to demo the app right now, but we just launched an app to make it much easier to participate on your mobile device. It is currently um, iPhone and iOS devices only, but we are launching an Android version. Um, so I want to open it up to answer any questions that you might have about Inspire. Yes, has anybody that's on the call now, have you signed up yet or want to sign up to get more detail? Ms. David, does, does this archive uh, the posts? Is it searchable? Yes, it is searchable. It's a new community, so there's not a lot in there yet, but there are posts um, existing in our, we have an advanced breast cancer community. There are a lot of posts in there as well. I mean, a lot, there are definitely posts relevant posts um, in there already and then there are some posts in this community as well um, but yes the searching is great for um, 
people looking for, sorry, I just put in my head, um, you know, it allows you to look at old posts that might be relevant to what you're facing or wondering about. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, what is uh, under male breast cancer updates? What, what, what does that have in it? So um, partners like to have a topic that when they're posting um, information, whether it be about the organization, about, you know, an upcoming event or a new resource or, you know, clinical, not clinical trials, we have that, but, you know, new research, um, then they, they can provide, you know, they can provide updates with you under that topic. Oh, okay. Oh, this is Rick Davis, and I would like to provide a testimonial to inspire. Um, some of you know me, some of you don't. Um, I'm not a male breast cancer survivor, um, but I am the I'm the founder of Ancan, and uh, we host about 18 different groups. And um, I go back with Inspire more than 10 years um, and I used uh, the prostate cancer um, inspire forum which is sponsored by us too um, extensively and at one time um, I used to provide a lot of support through that but I and in fact us too was kind enough to honor me nationally for that uh, now I just don't have the time any longer to um, to follow up, but it is a really terrific uh, facility that Inspire provides to many health communities, 253, is it right now? How many, Judy? I always just say over 200. <laughs> yeah, it keeps growing, exactly. Um, so, um, and, and it's at, at no cost to them, and many of these are um, sponsored by um, nonprofits associated with uh, the conditions, some are not. Um, and uh, it's helpful in a couple of ways. First of all, where there is a lot of knowledge, and in your case, you're going to find that under the advanced breast cancer, um, then to use the search function um, can be really, really helpful <clears throat> in putting together some posts pretty quickly. Um, secondly, it's great to bounce ideas off of other people or thoughts or comorbidities, side effects. You know, something just happened and, and, and it's bothering you and you want to know, is it you? Is it, is it something related to your disease? Is it something related to, 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 to another thing? And you post on there and you'll find that people are very, very responsive. But the only thing that really makes it work well is attending the forum. So you really have to get into the forum and monitor it. Uh, you can sign up, you can get a, a, a daily or a weekly compendium of everybody that's posted. Um, and, and the uh, the headline, and then go from there. Um, but again, I, I I just cannot say enough. Uh, and 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 Judy didn't pay me to say this. I mean, no. um, Judy knows that I I am a very very big fan and a big promoter of Inspire. Um, you know, sometimes it's like with all forums, you get people that are can be mean, obnoxious, um, but I think that most people that use the forums really have a good heart. Um, the forums are not intended to provide medical advice, they're intended to provide experience. Once in a while, um, on some of the forums, you'll find that doctors will post, that's a little different, um, but uh, I really encourage you to use, to use this MBCC forum and to use the Advanced Breast Cancer Forum. Yes, I, I mean, I agree with uh, Rick G of the, the, because we've got our private brother's Facebook page, but if you're not on Facebook, you're not on there. And where Inspire allows anyone to get on there, sign up into the community, and, and it really works. It's amazing stuff. I get emails daily from Inspire that I go and read and, and keep up to date on. So I, it, it is pretty amazing. 
who somebody else just joined us who who was that because i just showed as a caller new caller i don't know they're on their caller four but uh anyone else have any questions and and how it works and that judy can answer judy this is pat in omaha i just have a, a question regarding who is able to go ahead and and um log into this uh, as a caregiver would i be able to or is this strictly for um those with with cancer great question pat um so we actually have um a caregivers topic in here i don't um i don't know if anyone has um posted in and i was just gonna um take a look um we would love to get that going and um i you know we also are very open to feedback we are here to support you and if there's anything, yeah, no one's posted in caregivers yet, but if there's anything we can do to make this, you know, a better place for you, uh, definitely reach out. My email address is judy at inspire.com and Rick and Peggy both know how to track me down. Um, but yes, we would love to get caregivers in here and having conversations. I, I find, my husband has passed away with breast cancer, but I find that that, that is, um, something that that i really think that if, that we need to all work on is yes. uh you know we need to 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 deal with our caregivers because they're giving their all for their loved ones and so often they get overlooked um yes. even even family members don't realize what it's doing to the actual caregiver so i'm glad to know that caregivers can go ahead and and jump on this also yeah, and, and Pat, we get you signed up on that caregivers and as you so graciously have helped us out with the caregivers group and the widows and widowers group do, this is a whole area we can continue to build on. Awesome. Yeah, that would be great. I have a question. How do we, how do we sign just, up? Can I, can I just respond to Peggy and then come back to you? Peggy, there's, uh, not to Peggy, I'm sorry, to Pat. Pat, yeah. there is also, um, there are some separate caregiver forums, um, just general for 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 general caregiver forums. Um, I forget the name, forget the name of the forums, but I know there's one or two um, that are not cancer specific. Um, I've never really spent a lot of time in those forums. I don't know what's in there, but you, but 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 there 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 is a place to go there. Plus as you see a, a category here and by the way you know that we run a virtual group for caregivers as well twice a month yes they do caregivers and recently bereaved um and we'd be happy to have we'd be what we would love to see you on that on that forum we can give you the information thank you i appreciate that peggy That's has all my info <laughs> right definitely definitely we'll connect you guys and everything uh, anyone else have any uh, questions here? Or? Yeah. Uh, how how do we how do we sign up for it? Where, where do we go to sign up? Okay. In, in on the Facebook link, I I we've got that where you can sign up. It's uh, that that I posted, but also in the emails I've sent you today, that takes yeah. you directly to it, and that's where you'd go sign up. Okay. Yeah. And we'll share this out, the recording of it and everything. I'll share it out in a mass email again too. So we make sure we're catching everybody, even if they're not on Facebook. So yeah, I think I think it, I think this is really good because I don't really know what percentage of our people go on the Facebook page. I know right. a, lot of, a lot of people don't like Facebook for one reason or another. Exactly. But, and that's sure. where Inspire has been amazing. Thank God they found us and we got things going and and again it's just uh getting more of you guys signed up is some of uh, some of the uh deal but you can do you know inspire.com to sign up and judy do they need our exact page to go to that link or just it's inspire much better if they go um directly to the community um so we also have a shortcut url which i'm sending to everyone um Oh, good. Excellent. 
without the www, just straight to mbcc.inspire.com. Thank you for, for letting me join you to uh, talk about it. Oh, absolutely. Um, what I'm, you know, trying to find out also, uh, any questions, any more, any of the other guys that have about Inspire? Because again, once we start using the tool and you start using it somewhat on a regular basis, just like we're getting more and more to get on our go to meetings, which, uh, you know, again, Rich, thank you so much for having us as part of your family now. You because it. It's the only way we get things going and we're keeping everybody in communications and, you know, any platform or network we can bring to the guys, we want them to have that available. Uh, just because, you know, male breast cancer is rare until it hits you and it's not so rare, guys. And that, you know, that's what's part of it. But um, we definitely, you know, we'll have our call coming up on March the 26th for March. And in April, we're going to do it a week prior to the conference. So if you can come to the conference, we want everybody. I think we're going to hit, we're hitting up in close to 100 people with speakers and everybody to be part of the conference. We'll do some teleconferencing uh, speakers also, the ones that can't come, but they're, you know, they're groups and people that help keep us going all the time so we'll have them on as speakers and um it's going to be a fabulous conference here in kansas city the brand new lowe's hotel if you haven't booked hotel and you're coming and i'll keep pushing this out you need to get it booked by march the 9th is when our block and i'm going to try to get that extended but the lowe's hotel is literally opening the week the thursday right before big 12 and it's a brand new facility absolutely gorgeous it's it's re branding kansas city's downtown now uh it's it's just a beautiful facility and we're one of their bigger groups coming right after they've opened because they really weren't supposed to open until april 11th and they've rushed everything to get open for big 12 because the city sold out for that but uh it's going to be amazing and um We'll have, you know, the conference will start here on Thursday night here in Kansas City, where you're actually going to come out to the the Miller and the entire headquarters of the MBCC, as you can see the nightmare behind me if you're on video. Uh, and we're going to cook mama burgers and have frozen margaritas. That's our other real business. But uh, we'll be, all the guys, you know, when when Brett came out of recovery. Uh, in the recovery room, he starts yelling out to all the nurses, mama burgers for everyone. Well, that was the message from my mom and dad from heaven that he was going to be all right in 2010, because that is what my mom did. Every time we had to celebrate or bring the family together for anything, we did mama burgers and it's cooked on there their actual cast iron grill that's 115 years old. So you can imagine the season of that cast iron grill and the flavor it really you know, gives for mama burgers. And when you come, you just tell me you can eat as much as you want, drink as much as you want. We're gonna have transportation back and forth to the hotel for everybody. So hopefully we've tantalized you enough to be able to come to the conference. But if not, we will have everything running on Facebook Live in the Private Brothers group so people can watch the, the actual speeches and stuff. So anybody else have any questions or anything that they need to ask about? Peggy, maybe what we can do if we're, um, if we don't have anything more on Inspire, are, are we, uh, is there anything else on Inspire before um, before we lose Judy? I know that's right. Judy's got a family that she has to cook for, and I I know this is late in the day for her. So, um, is, is there anyone else that would like to bring up anything? Yeah. Before we move I, on, I, this is Pat in Omaha again, and I would just like to tell Judy thank you for for coming on and presenting to us. Yes, I agree with you, Pat. It's just wonderful to get other groups and communities to help our community and you know as we say together we will change the world so. thank you right. so much i really appreciate it 
Absolutely. So always thank you. Anything thank you. else from anybody else that they want to discuss? But otherwise, Mark, March 26th is our next call. I was going to see maybe we can in a lot of our groups, what we do is um first of all, if there's anybody who is there anybody that hasn't been on the call before on, on this in this group before? Or that Peggy, have, is there anyone you don't know? David, have you is this your first time on, David? Or you've been this on is my before? first time on. That's what I thought. So David's new to the call. Well, there we well, David, would you like to um just talk a little bit about your situation and, and, and speak to the other guys and maybe um, if you've got anything on your mind, raise it with them. Right. Well, I just celebrated my first year of recovery since surgery. Awesome. I'm healthy enough to uh, go back to logging. I just cut down 20 big fir trees. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still sweating. Um, oh, that's amazing. Feeling pretty strong um, and just carrying on. I'm a year into my survival and learning how to do that. And um, I've applied for and been accepted. I expect to be a consumer reviewer for the, uh, I think it's the Department of Defense. The DOD? Excellent. Yes. Good for you. Good for you, um, David. Fantastic. Okay. Brett's been to that. Michael Singer, many of our guys have done that. And it's an amazing uh experience you're just gonna love it so well, that's put in touch with me i need some mentoring <laughs> okay so yeah anytime just you know te text me you guys should have my cell phone or facebook message me or email me and let us know and i'll connect you with the guys that have already been there absolutely oh, not a problem can help out with that so i'm kind of involved in the community but uh don't spend a lot of time online um looking for new things. I'm mostly kind of steering ahead. I've got a great team in uh, Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. They've been great to work with. And my oncologist, uh, I promised her I'd be her most boring patient ever. And I'm, I'm doing that. So. No, that's awesome. That's wonderful. David, and you I, said you're from where? I'm from Port Townsend, which is near Seattle. Oh, okay. I thought, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. I thought you said something about North Carolina or South Carolina. Talk about the other side of the world. <laughs> Sorry about Seattle, that. absolutely. We got a couple up in that area too. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so are you a um are you a paint are you a patient at Seattle Cancer Alliance or yeah. Mm -hmm. And That's right. your experience has been good with them or um are you you happy with your care, et cetera? Yeah, I've been, um, I was really impressed with their team approach. Um, my first meeting with them after being diagnosed was with five women doctors in the women's health clinic there. And yeah, uh, it made me feel really comfortable. And I've, I've been really impressed with the quality of care. And not that I have a lot of experience, but they've been timely and on top of things. And I, I've got a nurse navigator that blocks for me. So you know, if I have problems or concerns, sure. she she's an advocate. So that that's it's a good model, I think. Excellent. And then we like. Um, I have to say that that most of the people I've spoken to in different cancers that have used Seattle Cancer Care Alliance have been very very happy with them. I mean, they're 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 really a, a quality shop. Plus, they're doing some some great research. Um, I just wonder. Um, if you found that they made any accommodation for you as a man at Seattle Cancer Care Alliance? Well, I've, I've become a burr in their saddle in some ways. I've told them they need to change their signage and their... Yes, <laughs> that's how we get change. And, and they're taking that seriously. And then I've been on their, uh, their advisory board as a male survivors give them advice about what makes things more comfortable um, i brought in about 100 copies of national geographic that i had saved over the years and brought into the waiting room just to diversify the magazines in there and, and I've got some other magazines. yeah this is There's really a, that's how we know, get change exactly 
little things that uh, I just insist on and they go, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> That's it. We're just we're re retraining the world, not just the United States. That's the thing. Well, but, you know, uh, David, you, the um, one thing you probably can do if you if you haven't done so already is introduce them to the Male Breast Cancer Coalition because they have an agenda yeah. um, on how to make uh, these breast cancer clinics more male friendly. And between you and Peggy, you know, it will add some weight because when Peggy speaks, she's speaking on behalf of the, the nation as opposed to just, you know, an, an individual patient. Yeah, and we'll get on did. we'll get on a call with you anytime and get digital brochures sent to you where we actually, David, once I get your story part and we'll put that as part of the brochure that they can digitally hand out or print and have in their offices. And it's a beautiful oh, yeah, thing. David. I think that's a good idea. What, what, what I did, David, is uh, I took our brochures, got the names of the nurse navigators for various places, and mailed them. Made sure they got them, and when they when they see male breast cancer patients, they can you know at least ask, hey, you know, we we have the male breast cancer coalition out there. Yeah. Uh, you and, know, and, and if they and want to we'll respond. Yeah, we'll print business cards for you from the coalition with your name and email and phone number on it that you can actually hand out when you're out in your community. So just okay. email me, let me know. We'll get those out to you guys for sure. And and any of you guys on here that if you need more, if you already got business cards or you're out, let me know. We'll get more business cards out for every one of you with your names and stuff. So when you are out in the community, you have something to hand to somebody that will actually send them to the website, you know, show them our Facebook and stuff like that, that will help get them involved. I mean, this, this week alone, I've talked to, since Monday, six new diagnosed men and or their wives or their significant others. So it's scary that it's continued to be on the climb and it's not changing i'm afraid anytime soon so david but, i think we probably need to get you on television i really yeah. think that's what we need to do you can ask hey, ron pat, about that yeah, I have yeah pat, to you, to seattle. Pat, you need to you need to drive out to seattle i know no. I, ron i know well tell david pat, pat has her car decaled out or Marlon's yeah. car, and she drives it all over the United States. She's an amazing advocate, especially yeah. paying the ultimate price by losing Marlon. She gets out there, and I'm telling you, the news stations listen, people stand up, and when Pat's talking, man, it's a beautiful thing. It, it well, is I, I don't know about Pat talking, but the car talks for itself, and Very having much. a male survivor, that is gold. Oh, Stations love that. Ron was amazing when I was down in Jacksonville, Florida. And I, well, would, know, like, I, would, I would like nothing better than to come to Seattle. Seattle. Out there. <laughs> yeah. I got to tell you, I was, I was talking to Peggy today. I, I did an expo at the National Breast Cancer Marathon last week with uh, Jim and Pat Keegan. Right. And I, I kind of filled in for them because they, they had an, a, an hour ride home. So we kind of split the time and I started talking to the, you know, the hundreds and thousands of people that were there. And I said, would you like to have some information about male breast cancer? And a lot of people just kind of slept me off in, in the beginning. Yeah. And, then, and then I just, and then I just dawned on me. I said, you got smart. <laughs> would, would you, would you, yeah. Would, would you like some information on male breast cancer? I am a survivor of it. They exactly. stop dead in the tracks. And they will. This is how in San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium. The minute we have survivors in the booth, our lines are long anyway there, and there's over 10,000 people that attend it. But the minute a survivor's in the booth, oh my God, the line doubles. Because people still can't believe that men get breast cancer. They have when, no I said, when I said I was a survivor, I don't care who they were. Sure. They could have been teenagers. They stopped dead in their tracks. It's amazing. And, and took the information. So, yeah. Well, what it is. Did, when I was diagnosed, uh, I decided you know, first thing that in my mind was why me? And then then I thought, why not me? And so I decided right. I was going to be really public about the whole process from beginning Thank to goodness. now. Good and so uh, 
I got the local newspaper to show up and do a story on me and they did a full color chest shot with my wife standing by me and awesome. put it in a local newspaper on the front page. And, that's uh, awesome. That's yeah. wonderful. Absolutely. Yeah, that's cool. Told the story and then what it led to a follow up about six months later after the surgery and initial recovery and I did a another story about just tricks I've learned as, as a survivor things to pay attention to and uh, but all the time being an advocate and so those two articles have branded me now I can't go anywhere in Port Townsend without people saying you're that breast cancer guy even and though I was and it is it's amazing you know and dave if you get more new links send them to me via email so we can put them up on your page too sure. so right. anytime you're in the news so we can update that any of you guys if you're on the news or whatever always just email me that link in case i don't catch it on google alerts or whatever so we can add it to your pages on the website and that way people everything's in one spot for you that way to be able to share out for everyone What's hilarious so, about it is that uh, the checker at one of the grocery stores <laughs> slipped up and she goes, oh, you're the topless guy. So I <laughs> love it. Ah, that's excellent. Ah, <laughs> hey, you got her attention, right? <laughs> that's excellent. Absolutely. So, and so like anyone else that's on the call now, Again, we don't care if you share your story at the coalition. We are your family. It's a family that God chose us all to be part of. But we're here to do anything you'd like us to do. Anything to, if you have questions, don't hesitate. You know, to through Facebook, you can message. Through email, you can get us. Um, and I don't care if you share your story. That's great. But if you don't share your story, that's all right also. So, you know. Any questions that any of you other guys have on here? Like Reginald, I know you're new to the family, uh, Derek and all. And, and you know, just let us know anything that might come to mind. Um, it, it's been amazing. One of the newer guys that we, we just got, and he hasn't had his vasectomy yet, uh, but Rich Landon uh, that I talked to on Monday, him and his wife have felt so alone since the diagnosis just three weeks ago. And he says, I was Googling and found you guys and thought I'd reach out. And him and I spent an hour and a half on the call. He's texted me several times in the last three days, just because he's had questions. And even if I can't answer them, I'm trying to find out who can give them the answer. That's what we're here for. And it takes all of us together to make it. Peggy, can, can we try something that we do on a lot of our calls? Sure. We have a little time now. So let me just run down the gents who are on the call and just see if there's anything on your mind you'd like to talk about. Just tell Perfect. us yes or, or no, and then we'll come back to you. But we just want to see how many people might like some time to speak. So um, Derek, is there anything you'd like to talk about today? Derek? <laughs> Can he, he can hear us, he's not on. No, he's there. Are you, are you with us, Derek? Okay, maybe he stepped away. Jeff, is okay. there any, is Jeff, anything you'd like to talk about today? No, uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm running for a plane, I'm sorry. And oh, um, I'm just I'm listening. Get on the call. Excellent. That's, that's this is Derek Cameron, I'm gonna have to drop off. There's Derek. Okay, Derek, we're glad you joined us. Thank okay. you. Can always Thank you. Have a good one. Um, Reg, Reg, is there anything that um, you're muted right now? Is there anything that you'd like to speak about today? I guess that's there me. You. That's you. Definitely, okay, Reggie. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm just glad to be a part of the organization. Um, I was diagnosed back in 2012, so it's been a while. Wow. Yeah, and uh, it took me from 2012 up until last year. I got in contact with Peggy to find a group like right. That. Yeah, I'm I'm very happy to be a part of this group. I mean, we're, you know. we're as I say, we're happy to have everyone, but it's one damn family. Not one of us want to be part of, but you know what? God chose us, so exactly. let's make the best of it. <laughs> so. um, Reg, is there anything you'd like to ask the other guys on the call? Uh, no. 
No, not not this not at the moment, no. Okay. Yeah. Um, Rob, uh, Pat, is there anything that you'd like to take some time to talk about today on the call, on the group? No, no, thank you. I, I think I just, uh, you know, wanted to go ahead and and uh, uh, make sure that David knew that I'd be glad to drive out to uh, Seattle. I don't hesitate to drive any place. Um, and I will say that the western part of the country has been... Uh, uh, I have not hit the western part of the country yet with my car, so uh, I, I was serious when I made that offer. If you yeah. are willing to get on TV, um, we will get a hold of your local television station, and I'll make a trip out there. Wonderful, Miss Pat. We love you for it. Um, David, have you seen this car that we're talking about? I'm very curious. Uh, though. Uh, I don't know if, if maybe Peggy can show. Let me us, put a grab picture. a. Yeah, let me grab a picture of it real quick. Hold on. And whilst you're doing that, Ron, is there is there anything you'd like to take some time about to talk to talk about today? Well, I'm going to do um, a uh, talk with uh, a local uh, bre uh, female breast cancer uh, survivor group because uh, there's not very there's no men out there other than us. And so I'm going to give a talk with them. I'm going to tell them about us. And then it just dawned on me that uh, we, I was talking to Peggy that uh, I'm going to tell them about Citizen because I don't even I don't know if they know about it or not. But if they any of them sign up for Citizen, I guess we get, you know, a small donation from from Citizen. But the point I'm trying to make is. Uh, there's a whole bunch of us out there doing all kinds of things, and if we could post what we're doing, it might give everybody some more ideas uh, to do things. Right. So, so for David's benefit, um, Citizen is a um, uh, for-profit organization, but they offer at no cost the ability for you to uh, place all of your medical records confidentially on the cloud. Yes. And um, they're anonym and they're anonymized. Um, and so, if you have to move, if you want to get a second opinion, you want you want uh, to share those records with somebody outside of your current team. Um, they're there in one place. It makes it kind of easy for you to to move your medical records around. Yeah, and real simple for arrangement with Mayo Breast Cancer Coalition. They also have an arrangement with us for prostate cancer, um, and um, and some of the guys have found it very helpful. Very much. Now, Rich, I found the car, a picture of the car. How do I get it to share to everybody? Okay, so what you want to do is um, uh, at the top of that, uh, your, your go-to meeting panel. Right. Um, the middle box says share your screen. Share my screen. Okay, here we go. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Right, and then... So if you click on that, you should be able to hopefully share your screen, Peggy. Okay, let me see if I can get it that way. Uh, here we go, I say share. Is that sharing? Okay, now it's showing shared, so now I just gotta go pull it up, right? You've gotta just pull it up and put it on your screen, yeah. Okay, we should be able to get to it quickly. <laughs> Hold on here, okay. So you you'll, you'll, keep... I think you'll enjoy this, Dave. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah, it, it's a great looking car. Pat, oh my God, she does amazing work. The people she's been able to get this message out to is just phenomenal. It just... Unbelievable. It's, it's a conversation starter for sure. Oh, by <laughs> far. Okay, let's see if this will do it. Uh, no, hold on. Looks like it's thinking. It's thinking. Hold on, here we go. I'm going to get it like this, I think. And I should be able to share it this way. Come on. It's slow computer today. Okay, there, I think we, there, can you see it? Wow, that's pretty. Is that amazing? 
So Pat, Thank this you. was Marlon's car, right? Explain that to them real quick, a little bit of detail. Yeah, we both retired from our, our jobs in 2014. And, and this was the last car that my husband bought. He bought it in 2014. And then he was diagnosed in 2016. And five months later, he was gone. And we had so many people that came in and said, you know, had no idea that men could get breast cancer. So I decided I was going to do whatever I could to keep um, his memory alive. And so um, I took his car down to a company here in Omaha and said, this is kind of what I have in my mind. I had drawn it out on a piece of paper and this is the way my car turned out. Now on the hood of the car, and I don't know if Peggy has that picture or not, they, oh, suggest, yeah. they suggest that I put a picture of Marlon on the hood of the car. And um, so I went ahead and gave him the okay to do that. And it was a picture, it, I'll tell you, that is probably the most telling part of the entire car because the picture was taken at Christmas time when he was being diagnosed. And so I can tell people, this is what he looked like. And five months later, he was gone. He had, he died five months later. And so the, the picture on the hood, even though that wasn't my idea, uh, was definitely uh, a great idea for the car and uh, has done a lot of good. Whenever I, I get in the newspapers or whenever we get on television, um, uh, people, yeah, there you go, Peggy, on the right Can hand side. Can you see it? Yeah, there it is. Can everybody see that or not? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So that's the hood of my car. And and that was taken at Christmas time. He's got his Christmas tie on. That's down in the basement of our house. You have and, a special license plate, too. Brass yeah. Brass. Yeah, it says men, too. It's a Nebraska plate uh, that's got the, the breast cancer awareness. So, yep. Yeah. That's so that's what I drive all over the country talking to people about breast cancer. She does amazing work. And not only does she do this, she always she has so many grandkids and great grandkids. She allows them to choose a spot where they want to travel and she takes them one on one with her on the trip. And that's that's the most priceless thing you could ever give a child. They get to know about him and Pat and everything. She's an amazing lady. Let me put it that way. Pat, everywhere is far for you, isn't it? <laughs> you know yeah. what? And I'm right smack dab in the middle of the country, so it doesn't make any difference to me which direction I go. I will go. If somebody tells me that we've got a chance to be on television to <laughs> talk to people about male breast cancer, I'll be there. And she does. Okay. She does not stop. Doesn't hesitate. Well, How many trips has she made to Kansas City has been amazing. So it's just just amazing. She's an amazing lady. That's all I can say. And Marlon's got to be smiling down on her because tell them Mar Marlon was an educator. So explain yes, that what he did. He, he was a, a high school um, math teacher and principal for 41 years. And, well, I was and he was a superintendent I'm sorry, what? I was a superintendent in North Platte for four years. Oh, wow. <laughs> did, did you know my husband? There's a good possibility that we bumped into each other at some point. Mar Marlon Washburn. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, what what years were you in North Platte? 2008 through 12. Did you ever go to administrator days? All the time. I was a uh, good oh, friend. Wow. Uh, you you very well may have met my husband. <laughs> oh wow! What a what a small day. world. <laughs> Crazy. Well, David, you need to get on a plane and come to the conference. Pat's going to be here with the car and everything. We're going to have a blast. <laughs> so. I'm sorry to miss that. I was, uh, I'm was. i already committed to a spring training in Arizona. Oh, I don't blame you there. Okay, that wins out. All right, so just get on one of the – you can get on a couple of the Facebook Lives if you're on Facebook and stuff. So um, that would, that would work. Where, where are you going to be in Arizona, just in the Phoenix area? Yeah, Peoria, 
for a couple of weeks and that's where Rick's back. at in the area. I'm I'm uh, yeah. I'm a little further south. I'm just 20 miles north of the border. So oh, down uh, Tucson, huh? Yeah, I'm south of Tucson. I'm about I'm about 45 minutes south of downtown Tucson. So okay. um <laughs> so, uh, but it, you know, you find yourself down here. Give me a holler, and I'd, I, I would love to meet you, um, Peggy. I, um, uh -huh. I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna jump off because I have to get onto a um, sarcoidosis. Yeah, call. you guys have more calls and stuff, and yeah, if, everybody's a bunch of stuff going on today. So I, I'm just going to log out, and um, I'll. I just wanted to say one thing for the gents who are on the call. Um, later tonight, um, on this, in this exactly the same place, you would log in exactly the same way, um, at eight o'clock, uh, Eastern. So that'd be five o'clock Pacific. Um, we have our monthly, um, speaking freely call, which is a pan cancer call for, uh, men only, um, from any type of cancer. Um, and that's just a call to talk about all the aspects of cancer other than your actual treatment, act, other than the details of treatment. So for, guy, for, for yourselves, it might involve having to negotiate your, your cancer treatment in a women's world, for right. example. Um, and we welcome everybody. It's free. It's drop-in. We have a, a couple of very good moderators. I'll be on that call later on tonight and uh, put it down in your calendars and and you are always welcome um to join that call it's the third thursday of um of every month at eight o'clock well, we okay. can't thank you enough rick for all you do for us we appreciate it yeah i'll give you a buzz probably tomorrow I've got okay to mind and i'll give you a quick buzz tomorrow okay Be excellent right, thank you all right. And anybody else have any other questions or want to share? Is that a, a resounding no? There's Reginald. Which, do you have any other questions? No, I don't have anything. All right. Well, just know if, you, if, if there's any way you can come to the conference, you won't regret it. But I understand financial problems. But that's why, again, we will be on Facebook Live for the whole conference, but anything anybody can think of. And if, if you haven't gotten any shirts or you need more shirts, you know, email me, I'll get them out to you. Um, we're here to help everyone and anything they need. And uh, like I say, as long as my head's not on a pillow, you can text me, call me, email, whatever, if you need anything. But oh, and don't let her say that. You can get <laughs> Told her at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Oh, Pat and I get on calls so late at night; it's crazy. <laughs> People think we're crazy. Hey, but we do our best work late, right? So absolutely. Well, we love everybody, and just let us know anything you need. But uh, if that's all there is, we'll go on and end the call. And I think it was a great call, guys. David, it was Thank nice you. to meet. You. Invite me out to Seattle. Yeah, tell her to come okay. see you. She'll be there. Hi. Until, uh, can you can you all hear me? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so uh, I just wanted to say hi before we hang up. Uh, this is Jeff in Houston. Um, oh, Jeff, how I, are you? Yeah. I wondered who it was. Okay, great. Well, yeah, I'm I'm doing okay. I um, so I I actually finished uh, my chemo. I finished Taxol yes. uh, a couple of weeks ago. So, uh, yeah, that's where I am at with all this and, uh, you know, fixing to start taking, uh, you know, taking tamoxifen, uh, okay. hope, hoping that goes okay. Um, yeah, and, and if it doesn't, and, be sure and talk to your doctors. Don't sit there and think it's yeah, nothing, definitely. okay? Uh, yeah. It's, 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 uh, there's many of the guys that cannot tolerate the tamoxifen, and then they wind up putting them on Arimidex and uh, anthrozole. And, and I can say only, I can speak from experience now, um, because I'm such high risk and because of Brett, they've just put me since November on a And I'll tell you, the only slight thing I get, cause I've been through menopause and everything, 
at night at about 11 o'clock at night, I, I get a little bit of a sweats and that's it. But otherwise, I am fine and I've been on it since November. And that's the drug Brett had to wind up taking because the tamoxifen did not work for him at all. It made him rage and everything. Uh, when they put him on a Remedex, he tolerated it beautifully for the five years they put him on it. And uh, so, you know, there are other options. Don't just think tamoxifen's the answer if it's not working right. for you. Well, okay, I mean, we'll try this first, and and hopefully that will hopefully work for it will you. be okay. Yeah, but yeah. If it's not, then then you know we go to next step. Um, exactly. Yeah. Can I can I just ask? I I am not familiar with the drugs at all, but but for those of you that are on here and are familiar with with the tamoxifen, can you kind of give Jeff an idea on what some of the side effects, effects are. are that he should kind of be looking for so if if he sees this is happening he he knows that he should get a hold of his doctor good idea well, i've uh, got a year's experience with tamoxifen and the first month is when you really need to pay attention to yes the small yeah. stuff like sharp pains in your extremities your toes fingers um, any kind of swelling in your legs indicates the possibility of clots forming. Um, the one thing I had to deal with was just it disrupted my sleep patterns a little bit, but I figured out strategies to kind of counteract it, and so I'm I'm fine now. So Excellent. I take it like a, a vitamin in the morning and uh, log it in early, and I seem to be tolerating it okay. But I I do know that the first month is you'll feel different. Very much so. Yeah. Brett, Brett was on it for 60 days when they pulled him off of it. Brett's not, Brett's a very mild mannered kid, okay? And he was 24 at the time. Yeah. But he became raging. He got short tempered. He didn't know why, and he was hot flashing all the time bright red hot flashes from it. And the minute they took him off of it, it was like day and night for him. Yeah. So. You definitely yeah, was, listen to your body is all I can flashes. say. Were you? Okay. I was so that hot flashes might happen. Yeah. Um, so obviously I don't know exactly what that feels like, but. Uh, <laughs> You'll know what it is. Um, You'll turn red in the face and you sweat out and you start dripping everywhere. That's a hot flash. Wow. <laughs> and, and Brett used to, was getting them all the time with the tamoxifen and he didn't know what it was. I said, Brett, your body's trying to tell you something that something's not right. And I can tell you from your mother's aspect, you are not the same person as you were before you started taking this tamoxifen. And it was a complete change for him. And the minute, like I said, they took him off of it and put him on a Remedec, he was fine. And, and it was interesting that the two drugs could make a difference. And at the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium, two years ago, we met at our booth the older gentleman and his wife who were the researchers and discoverer of tamoxifen and when i told him about brett and he said that is very interesting because when we developed a drug we definitely developed it for women only we now know so many men are taking it but he says there is definitely some research and development that needs to go on because of the hormonal difference between men and women and he says i am glad you were in tune enough to tell your doctor it didn't seem to be working for brett and that he made the change because he says yeah it's definitely not proven for that and they were the ones that developed it so it was interesting to get his his take on it and he says it doesn't work very well in the younger guys because uh their testosterone is so much higher at a younger age so those were all interesting notes and again remember you guys and all of our families are rewriting the knowledge on male breast cancer because they just don't know enough so it's trial and error to everyone so i'm glad everybody's gotten on the call anybody else have any other questions that doesn't look like it so then mark your calendars for march the 26th that'll be our next call but you know, stay in tune, watch for emails and everything. And 
if for any reason you can get to the conference, don't hesitate to let me know, and we'll make sure we get stuff worked out for everyone. That's but great. we thank, thank everyone. You. We appreciate it. And we'll Thanks, talk to Kate. everybody soon. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>